Hi guys, if you saw the video of me flying this, you know we had a bit of a disaster. This free hanging aerial got wrapped around the propellers when it landed and I think we've either burnt out one of the motors or burnt out the motor controller on the receiver board. Now, first of all, I've just realised, looking at this, that the aerial is supposed to be taped along the front wing here. I hadn't noticed that before, but now I can see it clearly. I thought that was just some tape somebody had put on there to repair it. But that's clearly where the aerial is supposed to be taped all along there. So that's one thing I can fix. Although it's probably too late now because the damage has been done. I can get hold of that. So, that's that bit, I'll get some tape and put it along there. That's a shame because that's probably, well, no I won't prejudge it until I've actually checked the motor. I've already had a little look here and we can ease this out. So we can look at the receiver. That's the Looks like the two um, MOSFETs that are powering the motors. What I'll try and do is get some power and just connect it directly on the solder tags for the motors and see if we can drive the motors directly. Because if we can drive them directly that means it's probably one of those MOSFETs has burnt out. If we can't drive them directly, that'll mean it's one of the motors has gone. So I'll sort out a battery. I'm not using the meter for any specific reason. I'll just see. If I go on there. Touch on there. So there we go, we've got both motors still work. Which is good and bad. It means I don't have to replace the motor. But the downside is, that probably means it's one of those MOSFETs is dead. I say MOSFET, oh, that's what I'm calling them. I'm guessing with one of the motors locked up with the aerial wrapped around it, it um, overheated the controller. Hmm. Right, it looks like we can see the number on one of them. Is that a B772? Yeah, we can't see the other side, it's covered in glue. Well I'm not entirely sure what's happened there. I 
just plug the battery back in again. Touch the throttle a couple of times. Initially just the one motor ran. But now they're both running. Right, we've moved on a bit. I think we've got a loose wire. be a loose, loose wire on the back of the motor. Yeah. I reckon that's what it is. Nothing to do with this. I reckon we've got a loose wire on the back of the motor there somewhere. And that's all glued in place. looks like if I just wiggle it a bit we get a good contact. I might live with that because it's easier than trying to unglue that and get it out. I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Well, I have to think about that. It looks like it's a loose wire in there. <laughs> 